Hello everyone. I am doing just a quick video on how to remove the and change out the uh, M2 sticks in an Intel Nook. This is a Core i7 8th generation Nook. Uh, this is a box that it comes with. I'll put the uh, part number uh, in the description below. But yeah, this is a Core i7 8th gen uh, Radeon RX Vega M uh, Intel Nook. So this one's roughly five years old. Um, I've been using it here and there just for um, um, kind of like my sandbox, but I wanted to remove the SSD out of here, put in a new SSD because I want to run um, an open source uh, project called um, Home Assistant to have it control all my um, smart things um, home. So, um, so yeah, so let's just, this video is just strictly removing the uh, cover and getting to the M2 stick so I could uh, replace it out because um, there's data on here that I want to keep. So in the box, they should, Intel does provide you with some hardware and they do provide you with a key here. But if you don't have your hardware, if you find any uh, hex key like this, it's a common key. You need to unscrew the six screws here, 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 above. So this is the top of the unit. So here's the back, as you can see. Here's the front, and obviously um, here's the back. You need to cover all the information there. But yeah, so you're going to remove the top part of the nook. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, <clears throat> so after you got the screw out, remove the cover. It just comes off pretty easily. There's a symbol of the skull here. Um, it's hard to see because I have the plastic cover on here, but this piece lights up so you can see the um, um, the skull illuminate when you turn it on. So once you get in here, you'll need to remove this wire here. This guy here. So it's pretty easy to remove. Just kind of hold it at the end here and wiggle it and it comes right off. And then there's one set screw that you need to remove, which is this one here. If you look closely here, there's like an arrow that's pointed. So there's just one screw that you need to remove here. And I believe this thing just swings open from there. And oops, you'll need actually it's a Phillips. So I got a standard Phillips screwdriver. So I'm going to unscrew it here see so it's just one screw so you want to put that separately from your others and once you that's unscrewed you should be able to lift the cover here and kind of swing it open and then just get that cable through there so this is a cover and there's your M2 sticks here that you want to remove. So I'm going to remove both of these because uh, I wanted to flash a whole new operating system. And like I said, I have data on these, so I want to recover it, uh, uh, not recover it, but keep it separate just in case I want to put it back in. So I'm going to unscrew one stick here. Once you unscrew it, the stick pops up and you just kind of pull it out like that. So it's really, really easy to remove. And you want to make sure that you get the screw here. So I'm going to keep that separate over here. And then I'm going to unscrew the second stick here. And then remove it here as well. So yeah, that's it. So I'm going to... I have an SSD here. It's an old SSD. It's an extra one that I have. So I am just going to open this up.
So it's labeled M2A and M2B on here, as you can see. So obviously you want to put it on the A part. And usually you want to follow the diagram here. It goes in one way. Usually it goes in with the chips facing up, just in case you want to use a heat sink. So it doesn't go this way. Usually for the most part, M26 always faces up like this. So you would pop it into a slot because it's keyed. As you can see, there's a key there. So it only goes in one way. So you kind of insert it a little bit and it's going to stay up. And then after that, get your screw back, kind of push it down a little bit and then put that set screw back to keep that M2 stick nice and tight in its place. Don't over tighten it. Just do enough so that sticks in place and that's pretty much it so i got the new stick in there i had two sticks in here one was a boot uh drive and the other one was just for storage this one i'm just going to run everything on one on one uh m2 hard drive so put the screw that you're not using from the second m2 just back in to the hole so that You don't find it, you don't go looking for it in the future when you decide to use that second SSD slot. Okay, so that's in. I think we're ready to go. So grab this part back, this side with the lock protector, with the lock goes down here. So you want to run the wire through here. Pop it down, make sure it's aligned on every hole here so that you can screw the lid back on. Once everything looks good, you'll want to make sure you can see the color of the wires that's always facing down. So make sure it's facing down. Plug this in. This is for, I think it's the RGB controller. For the nook, for the skull light. So just make sure it's nice and tight in there. And then just run the wire neatly. Put that screw back here. Gonna screw it down. Not too tight, just tight enough. Okay, so that's the one set screw. Take your lid. Make sure you got the right side of the lid. There's an indentation here. That means the front and the venting area here is for the is for the back. So if you look, I'm sorry, I got it back. Uh, the venting, if you see vents in the front, it goes in the front because this is the front of the computer and then the back uh, has the little indentation for the USB there. So I everything looks good. So now I'm going to screw everything back in. That's it. Hard drive, new M2 sticks installed. You got the front here with the vents here. And then you got the back here all flush. Make sure everything's flush and nice, nicely secured. And then you're set. Voila. That is how you pretty much remove an old m2 stick out and replace a new m2 stick in so that's pretty much it guys thank you for watching if you like the video please hit that like share and subscribe button and like always thank you for watching um and peace out till next time stay safe